Drew here, Frisco Tennis Shop. Just want to make a real brief video talking about tennis string tension loss and tension maintenance. It's a real common question I get about what to expect as far as tension loss with tennis string over time. So in this video, I just want to go over some of the main points and what to expect after you get your racket restrung. The most important point I'll make about after getting a newly strung racket is you will have tension loss right away. Uh, no matter what string you use, as soon as that racket's been tied off after restringing, that tension will decrease. Uh, so even if I restring a racket now and go play with it right away, it could be 5 to 10% lower than the tension I had initially when I restrung the racket. So if I restring this racket, say 55 pounds, and it uh, I go to the court right away, it could be 50 pounds by the time I get to the court. Uh, it really depends on the string and different things, but you will have initial tension loss as soon as you restring a racket, no matter what. It's a very important point that I think uh, many people uh, are a little bit confused about. I know I was when I first started playing, I first started stringing professionally. I thought if you ever string a racket 55 pounds, it should hold up uh, at least until you make contact with the ball, but that's not true. That racket will start de to de decrease tension right away before you even go to the court. Like I said, five to 10% is usually a rule of thumb uh, before you even make contact with the ball. As far as tension maintenance goes, the string that's the most popular string probably is polyester string. It also happens to be some of the worst tension maintenance of any string. So polyester string is popular because it's durable, it's great for spin. Uh, but one of the bad things about it is it does not hold its tension very well. So with polyester string, if I get it strung at say 55 pounds, after maybe 10, 15 hours of play, depending on uh, what type of player you are, if you're a heavy hitter, uh, even if you just let the racket sit around for a few months, that tension is going to be dropping quickly. Uh, I've seen some polyester string from its initial tension after just 10, 15 hours of playing drop almost in half. Uh, from its initial tension. So polyester string, it has so many benefits. It's one of our favorite strings. People love polyester. Most pros use polyester. Tension maintenance is not that great. Uh, so even though you won't get as many string breaks with polyester, it's tension maintenance. Uh, in my opinion, 10 to 15 hours of play, if you're a competitive player, you will notice some serious tension uh, decreasing on polyester string. Another popular string, the multi-filament synthet synthetic gut string, it's nylon based string. Like all string, it will lose its tension over time, it will lose its tension uh, as soon as the racket's been tied off and, and restrung. Uh, it's better than polyester though, so polyester you can maybe get 10 to 15 hours without noticing uh, serious uh, tension decreasing with a nylon string, I usually say 15 to 20 hours. Again, this is all subjective. This is just my opinion as a master racket technician and someone who plays uh, tennis. Uh, 15 to 20 hours, you can play before noticing, hey, I, I probably need to restring. Uh, a lot of people like nylon string because it'll break before they need to restring because of tension maintenance. So even though it's not as durable string, it may break at a time when you're ready to restring anyway. Uh, so it holds its tension better than polyester that can drop in half. Uh, nylon string it could be drop a quarter over time after maybe 15 20 hours of playing uh, just sitting around for a few months so that tension will drop uh, quite a bit as well uh, not as much as polyester but but you can expect it to drop uh, maybe 25 percent after playing with it to 15 to 20 hours and you may be looking to restring it about that time again if you're just an intermediate player beginner player you, you may not notice any difference just keep playing with it till it breaks uh, but if you become a competitive player, you're going to lose a little bit of an advantage if you're playing with older strings that are losing that tension maintenance and ability to give you the control, power, and everything you're looking for with that initial tension you selected. The best tension maintenance string on the market is natural gut string. It happens to also be the most expensive. Uh, but as far as tension maintenance goes, it's really second to none. So where polyester over 15 hours can lose almost half its tension and say nylon could lose almost a quarter of its initial tension, natural gut's gonna hang in there. It will decrease, uh, just like all string, after hitting with it over time, but not nearly as much as polyester or a nylon string. So natural gut, it costs a bit more. Uh, it's still the most premier string 
on the market, but its tension maintenance is remarkably good. So if your tension maintenance is something you're concerned with and you have the budget for it, natural gut may be a great fit for your game. Also, tennis string is not all created equal. I'm gonna link to a really helpful website, Tennis Warehouse University below. It gives you a chance to compare tennis string, even of the same like polyester string, same material. Uh, so you can compare how much tension loss through their experiences and their experiments uh, to expect. Like this is a Luxlon 4G and this is a Vocal Cyclone, two polyester strings I love. Uh, but this is known for really good tension maintenance. So if tension maintenance is important to you, you may go this one. Uh, if you restring often anyway, this Vocal Cyclone be a great one too. Uh, but all tennis strings are, are not the same. So you can actually go to that website below and kind of compare and contrast different tennis strings. I hope you found this video useful. I know it was kind of a lot of information. I know it's a little bit subjective. Uh, people can play tennis their whole lives and have different opinions on how much they get, how much time they can play with the string before they notice its its tension is uh, is basically gone dead, is what people will call it. I encourage you to uh, use different string materials and test it out for your own game. Just remember, tension loss is part of playing tennis, and uh, some strings hold up better than others. And I encourage you to test out different strings to figure out what's the best for your game. This has been Drew from Frisco Tennis Shop, and I hope to talk soon.